Father. It was around noon on December 21st, 1988, when a man driving a log truck pulled over along the side of the road in Millwood, Ware County, Georgia, to relieve himself in a nearby wooded area. As he walked into the woods, he came across an isolated garbage dump site, where he became curious about an old television cabinet that was lying on the ground nearby. As he approached the cabinet, he kicked it, which caused it to break open and reveal its contents, a black metal suitcase. The suitcase had been wrapped in a tarp and secured with duct tape, and within it was a sight the truck driver will never forget. Someone had filled the suitcase with cement, which encased a gym bag and a brown baby blanket that contained the body of a young female child. Christmas Jane Doe, as she has become known to investigators who are working to identify her, is described as being an African-American girl between the ages of three and four years old. She would have stood two foot eight to three foot one inches tall and is believed to have weighed only between 23 and 27 pounds. Her black curly hair was pulled back into a ponytail secured with a brown rubber band and patterned with brightly colored bows. She is said to have slight gaps between her baby teeth. Dressed in a white size 4 thermal pajama pants with maroon colored trim, a disposable diaper, and a white knit long sleeve pullover shirt with red pony on the upper left side of the chest. Her ears were pierced, but no earrings were found with her remains. Local investigators worked alongside the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, or GBI, and other members of the Sheriff's Department to go door-to-door -door in the area where the body was found and attempt to develop leads to her identity with no results. It is suspected that she may not be from the area, as there was a copy of an Albany Herald newspaper found near her body. The Albany Herald is a New York-based newspaper. This discovery led to multiple agencies being contacted for potential clues and news stories were broadcast across the country about Christmas Jane Doe. Sadly, this has not resulted in any new leads being called in. In 2010, an anonymous caller left a tip with the GBI informing them that they believed the child's name was Bridget and that she and her family had lived in the Tifton, Georgia area at one time. Nothing ever came from this tip, and investigators have not released any more details about the call. It's been 32 years since little Christmas Jane Doe was found, and we are no closer to revealing her identity than we were at day one. If you have any information regarding the identity of Christmas Jane Doe, you are asked to contact the Ware County Sheriff's Office at 912-287-2479 or 912-287-4327. Tips can also be submitted to the Georgia Barrel of Investigation at 912-389-4103. And the Ware County Coroner's Office at 912-283-3030. While there are many things that are not known about Little Christmas Jane Doe, such as a cause of death, how she became to be dumped in the area that she was found in, or the circumstances of her life, the one thing that we are certain of is that somebody out there knows the answers. Somebody knows who this beautiful little baby girl is, and it's been 32 years. It's time to give her back her name. She needs to be properly laid to rest, and the person or persons responsible need to be brought to justice. If you know anything please contact the Sheriff's Department of Ware County, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation, or the Ware County Coroner's Office. Okay.